Welcome back to Silent Hill Homecoming. In the last episode, we went back home, met our mother who seemed, well, you know, silent, hilly, not there anymore, really. And now we've come to the cemetery. To be honest, I don't exactly remember why we're going here. Is there a specific reason? I don't remember. What's my objective? Search the graveyard in nearby sections of the town for information on Joshua's disappearance. Joshua isn't at home. Search the rest of the town. Find someone who knows something about fixing guns. Didn't know that was a goal. Um, yeah, okay, so we don't really have any kind of specific thing we're doing here. Just searching around for any information about Joshua or guns. <laughs> Wait, about fixing guns. So that implies that this gun that I got from my mother, this old revolver, is broken? But we never established that it was broken at all, right? The only time we saw it is it was in our mother's lap in that cutscene, and then we took it from her. And now it's in our inventory. That's all we know about it. Huh. Oh, hey! Okay, it didn't have a control for it, but I figured there's gotta be some sort of way to, like, look at things and get a description, right? It's middle mouse button, the same the same key that does this. First person view. Cylinder's rusted and won't turn. It would be a nice piece if I could get it repaired. Half a circular stone plate with a partial image of a tree embossed on the surface. So I'm still sick, by the way, so voice is going to be all messed up. Also, I think I fixed the audio latency problem. I thought it was the patch because of the stuff it does to the frames per second, unlocking it, and even mentions that it fixes the audio sync introduced by unlocking the FPS. So I thought it just wasn't actually fixing it correctly, but I think I'm pretty certain that the issue is actually the weird trickery that I'm using to get the audio to work correctly in the game. Um, I think it had to do with buffers being kind of large and you know, when I have devices going into devices going into devices, each one of those devices has its own latency, and I think it was just building up. Anyway, I think I fixed it. I hope. I'm, I'm going to see when I go to edit this episode how good it is. But I think it's better. Or at least, if it's not totally, like, perfect, then I think it's at least way, way better. I think we got to continue this way. Yes. Continuing the family crypts north. Why does my computer mouse appear on the screen? Do you see it? There's two mouses, two mice. Okay, fixed it. Betsy Thatcher, daughter of Timothy and Dorothy Thatcher. 16 years old. Farewell, my weeping parents, dear. Farewell, my brothers and sisters near. I wish you all to live and love and make your peace with God above. Uh, erected by Timothy Thatcher in perpetual memory of his wife, Mrs. Dorothy Thatcher. Betsy Dad, Thatcher, Timothy, Dorothy, yeah, whole families interred here. Well, I don't know about the father. Through life in virtuous path she trod. In death her hope was placed in God. Ah, oh, we get- oh. Creepy thing on the roof? So many men and women have died in Shepherd's Glen. <clears throat> Names are entirely worn away. This marker's pretty worn, only a few letters are still visible. Mr. John Nye, 78 years old, uh, and a second wife, 75 years old. Mrs. Catherine Nye, wife of Mr. Arthur Nye, 86. A 
Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? Oh, shit. Yeah, I think I can't go any further without, uh... An axe? Wait, now, what's the... There must be a purpose to being here, right? Because, like, you can go through a crack in the wall to get here. It could just be to get that health drink, I guess. Just a bonus. Ah, nope. I was missing something. Glad I checked. <clears throat> Did I see snarling? Lemuel Jacobs, 55 years old, the immortal part has on swift pinions flown to take its sentence in the world unknown. Rhoda Hunt, daughter of Cap Nathan and Mrs. Lydia Hunt, sleep on, sweet babe, and take thy rest. God called thee home, he saw it best. Wait. I swear, we, in the last episode, we read a plaque that sounded very similar to that. The whole, like, God called thee home, he saw it best. Maybe it's a common thing. I don't know. Troy Douglas Hampton. Rachel Smith. 32 years old. Lydia Rush. 25 years old. I haven't really been paying much attention to the years that they died, but I think they've all been the 1900s. damage. Good. What is this? The Founder's Row. Founder's Row? Founder's Garden? Oh, so it's like a um, spot in the cemetery specifically for the founders of the town? <clears throat> Judging by the map, it looks like this just goes to a room where there's no doors leading out of it. Or maybe it's an entirely different map because you go down. Hmm. The grate seems to be firmly attached. Maybe you kind of like come out of there, you don't go in there. <coughs> Sort of like a door does not open from this side. Dark Souls thing. <laughs> no. Bugs. That doesn't look firmly attached. That's all jacked up. Oh. Can I try hitting it maybe? Ah, never mind, you're obviously not supposed to go in there. You're the Founder's Garden now. Founder's Garden? Not seeing a lot of vegetation. Tombstones here. It looks like a family gravesite. Dog eating something there. I could try walking and take turning off my flashlight, see if I can sneak up on it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let's try it. Unfortunately, walking is very slow. But being a dog, it might hear me or smell me. Nom nom. Sorry, puppy. Goes over towards the West Garden, the front entrance, parking lot. The Bartlett Mausoleum, that's where the door was locked and there was somebody digging up a grave over there. We we'll want to go talk to them. Maybe they know how to fix a gun. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to be coughing a lot. What a gnarled tree. Just want to make sure I'm not missing any health drinks or something. This is the Fitch family mausoleum. They're one of the four founding families. The lock to the door looks like the one from Dad's hunting room. Wonder how I'm supposed to open it. Okay, so it takes a special key, just like the hunting room. Which we never opened, by the way, so I still don't know what kind of key I need for that. Holloway Family Mausoleum, they're one of the four founding families. Same thing with the key. Dead end. Here we go. Let's t go towards the West Garden. The guardian that once was whole reveals the way that is shut. Two halves on twins enshrined forever split in waters divine. I think it's talking about the half of the symbol that I have. I need the other half to reveal a way that is shut. Mm, forever split in waters divine. Sounds like maybe it's in water. The other half. Names are entirely worn away for all of them. Yeah. There's some water. Oh, hey, there's the other half. So, we're done? <laughs> well, I guess I need to put him somewhere. This fountain is hereby dedicated to the memory of Claire Borden by her loving parents. Tragically lost moments after her twin sister died. Uh, born, the rest is illegible. Eight years old. Additional inscription, inseparable yet divided two halves of the same person in two places now forever apart. <laughs> I like that they just used, like, basically synonyms for the same concept just to differentiate them somehow. Odd stone plate and strange stone plate. Kind of same thing with the description, really. Same basic description, but just kind of worded a little bit differently. Whoops. Right, so we don't use them here or anything. We need to put them somewhere specific. It sounded sort of like they needed to go into maybe a statue. Once whole but now split in twain opens the way for souls to leave, find the plates and release their pain, once separate but now whole again. Yeah, so it's like 
Very similar to the description on the other plate on the other side, but a little bit different. <clears throat> Locked by this mechanism. Looks like something circular would open it. Oh, yeah, it just goes right here. That was easy. Look at that hairy little patch of grass. It's the parking lot. Smells like something died in this dumpster. The way the light's shining in that corner made me think there's something there. There's nothing for me to do right now, but maybe something's gonna pop out of there. An enemy? Why hasn't this been towed away? It's obviously broken down. Yeah, those are some old rusty cars. Are we going out to the town now? The hell happened to the streets? Yeah, we're out to the town now. Oh, hey, this is like where I started in Shepherd's Glen. Yeah, that's like right where the fog was, right? Where I would walk through it and then it would take me to like backwards and walking the opposite way. Okay, so am hold on. Am I missing something back here? I think I might not be. I think I just need a key. Anywhere I can go that I just like totally didn't go. I need a key to get to the Bartlett Museum. There's no other doors. Yeah, I don't think so. Looks like I've been everywhere. Well, not the family crypts south, actually. Was that door locked? I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. Is that an ice cream truck? <laughs> it's covered in dust and ash. This van hasn't gone anywhere in a long time. Comic book store opened here right before I left. Looks closed now. Because there wasn't enough demand for juvenile stuff like comics. I bet Josh was sad it closed. He loved comic books. Are all comic books really juvenile? I don't I don't read comics, but I don't think that's accurate. Oh, hey. Is that the judge or is that someone else? Yeah. 
You alone out here? Well, hey, you know, I didn't think I'd ever see you again. You took off without saying goodbye. Yeah, well, I'm not here for long. I'm looking for my brother. You seen him? No. I haven't, Alex. I'm sorry. Jesus, what the hell is going on here? I don't know. But every day there are more flyers to put up. Every day more people disappear. I had no idea. And if you did, would you have done anything about it? Yeah, I would have come back for Josh, gotten him the hell out of here. God knows what kind of trouble he's in now. Trouble? Look around you, Alex. This whole place is in trouble. I know. I get it. But I have to find my brother. He's my responsibility. After that, I'm gone. I suggest you do the same. Alex, wait. Yeah. I got this from Deputy Wheeler. You should take it. What for? If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Thanks, Al. Alex, I hope you find what you're looking for. I was thinking, like, wait, is this an addition to the radio we already have? But, right, that was only during the nightmare. Just like the flashlight, we lost it when we were, you know, back in reality or whatever this is. I guess that's implying we're about to encounter a lot more enemies, probably. When they first fell from that chair, it's, I swear, I heard this incredibly nasty, like, just bone snap sound like their entire kneecap just shattered but they seem fine so yeah i'm not really in the mood right now just leave me alone we obviously both have history Twenty-five thousand reward can't read any of them really Monster holding up two kids. Great. Who'd park their truck here? Oh, we're right at the police station. Is it Deputy Wheeler, was it? Are they at the police station? Okay, there's... Yeah, um... Hey, you putting up flyers? Well, like... 30 feet away, there's a blood smear leading to a crashed police car. That dog over there. This doesn't look good. Did one of those dogs do this? It appears I'm not the only one that doesn't like these dogs. Ouch. dialogue in this game. The dialogue for the characters and just like the snippets of, of their thoughts like that one when you're looking at descriptions and stuff. They're all real bad. They're so bland. Is that a bridge? Yeah. No trespassing, violators will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. That's actually a thing in America, by the way. I guess like grim gun humor or something. I've seen them. Unsafe mind, stay out, stay alive. I'm guessing we're gonna be going to an old mine. 
If they're teasing an old mine, we're probably going to go in it. I mean, you have to, right? It's so creepy. The old mine is falling apart. Too dangerous to go that way. So this game is sort of open world-ish. Is this a junkyard? Big generator. wonder where he got it from. Who's he? I guess we know the junkyard owner or something. Looks like Curtis has stripped the usable parts from these. Curtis, that must be their name. Also, that's a familiar name. I just don't remember why. Curtis. Wait, was that the name on the note? Back in the home, it said, like, make sure to tell Curtis something, something. Do I actually have that note in my journal somewhere? I haven't even looked at my journal, like, ever. Hmm. I thought everything that you read went into your journal, but it doesn't. There's clues. There's just a manual telling you how to do combat. The photos go into your journal and drawings, but not just text. So, can't look up at that note unless I want to go all the way back. Which I don't. Look at that red stove. I've never seen a red stove before. A truck and a lot of junk is blocking my way. Curtis must not be expecting guests. There must be another way around. Why does he have so many gasoline barrels? Valve is rusted solid, never gonna move. Table covered in what looks like old blood, great. Could be paint, I hope. Another stockpile of gasoline barrels. I doubt these televisions work anymore. Why did Curtis put this junk under a roof? Hello? Can I ask you something? I'm busy. Hey, you're Curtis, right? <laughs> hey man, how's it going? <laughs> Maybe this'll interest you. What are you? Sheriff's kid. Alex. Right. Military man now, I see. I'm pretty sure it's broken. What do you think? Hmm. I think you must have stole this from your daddy. Just tell me if you can fix it. Now don't go barking orders at me, soldier. The only person that tells me what to do is me. Got it? Hmm. Pretty neglected. It's a damn shame the way people mistreat such nice things. Look, what I really need is some information. Have you seen my brother Joshua? 
You want to talk to the mayor. He knows everybody's business. Mayor Bartlett? You know where I can find him? Sure. Same place he is every day. Digging up people's graves. Well, that was the mayor? There's something seriously wrong with that guy. You know? Like in the head. That's Mayor Bartlett? Yep. No wonder all the streets are broken. Nobody around here gives a shit anymore. Yeah, I could fix it. Might take a little while, though. Keep it. It's yours. What's the catch? Consider it payment for your help. Ah. Soldiers gotta have a gun. Thanks. Yeah. I like a fair trade. Mark 23 handgun. Do I have any ammo for it? Nine shots, I guess. So one magazine, probably. Get some snacks. <laughs> what do they got in here? Sucru's to does that say tofu delights? Tofu delights. I was expecting sweets. I mean, I guess it could be sweet. Ryan's yogurt. Something. Mm, can't read that one. Uh. Machios or something. It's really hard to read because a lot of little bits are covered up and the text is so blurry, but man, I love reading fake branding. Anna's Coconut Crisps. Oh, is that say Ryan's Yogurt Cups? Yogurt Cups? One more in the bottom. Wowzers. Damn, wish I had some change. The snacks look good. Do they? Coffee looks like it's about a week old. Looks like motor oil. It's Curtis's to-do list. Fix Adam's engine. Repair Margaret's clock. Clean out fridge. Hey man, one more question. You know, this town is crawling with all sorts of crazy shit. Why are you still running a repair shop? Well, why do you think I'm carrying this thing around? What am I supposed to do? Pack up and leave so somebody else can come in here and steal my stuff? You're not too bright, are you? I see. You got a lot of clock parts in this place. There a reason? Yeah, there's a reason. For fixing clocks! Haven't you noticed that every single clock in this town has stopped at exactly 2.06? No, I hadn't. But then take a look around, son. Why do you think that is? Well, hell if I know. I just try to fix them. But it's no use. They won't start running again. It's like something's not letting us move on. Hmm. What happened to 206? Basic ranged combat. Equip it. Mm-hmm. Hold down shift to enter precision mode. Left trigger to fire. Performing a gun butt. How do I gun butt? While in precision mode, press left to perform a gun butt. Wait. Hold down shift to enter it. And then press left mouse to fire it. And then while you're in the mode, press left to perform a gun butt. Wait, so left both performs a gun butt and shoots? I don't get it. Range weapons will automatically reload after you fire the last round in the gun, as long as you have additional ammo available. It's often advantageous to reload, blah blah blah. Uh, this can be done by pressing right mouse. Wait. 
Wait, red? Hold on. Red mouse? I thought I saw it in the control list and it was R. Wasn't it? Yeah, look, reload, R. Okay then. I'll just mash a bunch of buttons and <laughs> see what works. Let's equip it right now. Uh, <clears throat> so if you hold the button for combat stance, if you hold it down, if you hold it down, then it enters the precision mode. We have a crosshair and can aim and... Oh, we can also move a little bit. Very slowly, very hitchily, but you can move. Um, but that's like a momentary thing where I'm still holding down the precision, uh, the combat stance, and if I let it go, I come out of it. So you can kind of like enter real fast, holding down the button, release it, move, hold down the button. So you can get in and out of it pretty fast, but you can also just press the button and just stay in it. So it can be either a toggle or a momentary thing. Now, I don't think pressing left mouse is going to do a gun butt. Maybe if I'm out of ammo, but... It's definitely going to shoot the gun, right? Oh, it's right mouse to do a gun butt. Okay. wonder how much damage that does. Probably much worse than an actual melee weapon. Moldy bread. Oh, it's some ammo. Junkyard map. I've got a lot of health drinks. Five. More ammo. Wow. I don't know how melee focused versus ranged combat focused this game is. What if I should save my ranged ammo maybe for like a boss or something? Herbert gloves and boots? What kind of crap does Curtis work in? I mean, all sorts of nasty chemicals, god. Engines and fridges and... Ugh. This fridge looks older than me. Okay, well, I'm going to save here and I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I want to let my voice rest and also especially want to make sure the audio sync is okay. It seems like it's not perfect, but a lot better than before. So I hope you've enjoyed so far and when I return... Uh, we're going to explore more of the junkyard or something. I don't know. Explore more of the town. Try to find something about Josh.